Hello, my name is Mrs Fisher and I'm the Head of Sixth Form at Davenant Foundation School. I would have loved to have been able to see you this evening uh, all together face to face like we would normally run our open evening. Uh, but I hope that the video that you've just seen has given you a bit of a flavour of what it would be like if you joined Davenant Sixth Form. For the rest of this uh, evening now I'm just going to be giving you a little bit more information about the type of Sixth Form that you'll be joining. At Davenant Sixth Form, the vast majority of our students take three A-level subjects uh, and then complement the rest of their timetable with their enrichment activities and also uh, possibly two other AS subjects. For more information on what each of the different subjects entail, please do look at our prospectus which is online on our website um, and in there it will tell you information about the specific entry requirements for each subject and also a little bit of detail about what the subject content will be like in them. The two AS subjects that we offer in the sixth form is the AS in e offer an EPQ, which is the Extended Project Qualification, and also an AS in Core Maths. Uh, do make sure that you look at them in, your, in the prospectus so that you understand uh, what they would require of you, uh, but they are excellent complementary subjects to go along with your three subjects that you've chosen at A-level as well. If if you would like to um, take four A-level subjects um, alongside um, your ASs as well, uh, please just do contact me at sixthform.davenant.org um, and we can discuss how you would go about uh, applying for four subjects rather than three. Hello, I hope that you've enjoyed our virtual open evening and it has given you an idea of what our sixth form has to offer you and what it will be like to join our sixth form and become part of our community. You may well now be thinking, well, how do I actually go about applying uh, to come into Davenant Sixth Form? So that's what I'm going to talk through with you now and explain some of the documents that are on our website for you and uh, why they're important for your application process. So the first document that you will find on there is one which gives you a little bit more detail about our general entry criteria. So in our prospectus, which is also on our website, in the Sixth Form section, um, you'll see it there. That gives you the individual uh, definitions and subject criteria for each of the A-level subjects that we offer at Davenant. This letter gives you the general requirements for the first entry into the sixth form, but then also just some ideas about some important dates at the bottom um, of events that we hope that we will be able to put on for you, um, all being well, um, and where you can get some more advice from. The next document on there is just an overview of the courses that we offer um, at A-Level and also some more dates which um, relate specifically to you be being given more support and guidance. So we run um, options clinics, for example, for students who are joining us in other schools and also for our own students in Year 11. And there's information on here for how you can book a time slot in one of those options clinics. Um, myself or another member of the sixth form team will then get in touch with you. Um, it will be over the telephone and we'll be able to talk through any queries or worries that you may have. These option clinics are perfect for if you just want to double check uh, your subject combination uh, is right at A level for the career path that you want to go into, if you are wondering about maybe taking four A levels and, or instead of three, um, or if you want to see how your EPQ or critical thinking or core maths might uh, kind of incorporate into your curriculum whilst you're at Davenant, um, it's a good opportunity for us to discuss it there. Please be aware that in the sixth form at Davenant, we do not interview for places. So this clinic is not an interview, they're not compulsory, um, they are purely just for information. The next document on the website, um, arguably the most important document for us, is the application form. And um, there's two parts of the application form which you need to be aware of. Um, the first page is your, you know, your basic details um, at the start. Um, and do remember that this is where we will be able to contact you from. So usually around this time of the year, uh, students still put their parental contact details on their application form. So the email address and the telephone number will be of their parents or their carer. But by the time you're ready to start in sixth form, so when you come to the end of year 11, a lot of students then, and their parents, want, uh, the, want the student themselves to start receiving the information. So if that's the case, do remember to put two contact uh, info details up here. So make sure that you include your own email address, for example, if you're the student, um, or phone number, so that you will be contacted uh, directly rather than it going through a parent or carer, if that's what you prefer. 
The bottom section is where you put in your uh, subjects that you've done at GCSE and then there's an option for you to enter your predicted grades. Uh, don't worry, um, I do know that different schools do their uh, mock exams at different times of the year and also uh, you may not have your most current up-to-date pre predicted grade by the 31st of January, which is the deadline for the sixth form. Um, if that's the case, if you, if, you don't ha if you know that you need to submit your application form but then you're doing your mocks in a couple of weeks' time after that, um, please don't worry. Just put in the most current predicted grades that you have and just make a note on your form that there will be others coming after that. Um, and we call for references for all of our applications, which includes calling for your predicted grades from your school. Um, so we will then receive them and we'll be able to edit um, your, your application form at that point. If you do have your most up-to-date uh, predicted grades, however, please just pop them along there as you would normally, and that will give us the information for us to be able to see whether we can make you an offer or not. We ask you then to put in your option choices at the bottom, so your first choice and then what you would choose if you didn't get your first choice for any reason. Um, and then also to tick your uh, here for core maths if you would like to take core maths as, as part of your curriculum timetable permitting. So that's the, the front page of your application form where you fill in uh, with the basic information for us to be able to see whether we can offer you a place on the subjects you've chosen. The second page is just as important. So we score your application form at Davenant on, on two areas, your predicted grades and for the subjects that you're applying for, but then also on this page. So this page is room for you to put a personal statement about yourself. So as I've already said, we don't offer um, interviews, we don't interview for any students coming into the sixth form. Um, so this is your opportunity to tell us everything about yourself that you'd like us to know um, if you were in an interview. So it's your time to kind of show off, basically, tell us everything uh, that you'd like us to know about yourself um, in terms of leadership, extracurricular, teams that you've played for or led maybe, um, any academic achievements you, you've done, um, also outside of school, um, anything that you've done with your your local churches or with, or with clubs that you've that you've joined and um, this is your opportunity to tell tell us a bit about yourselves and again you get a score here for this as well now at the bottom of this page we have two commitments uh, to our school um, so our sixth form um, is um, attached to a Christian school as I'm sure you are aware so um, in this, we have the ethos of, of a Christian school within our sixth form, although we don't have the same um, requirements of attending church to join our sixth form. So our two commitments are that you agree to attend and participate in assemblies as and when required, and lastly that you acknowledge and you respect the Christian ethos of the school. Um, just so that you're aware, um, if those boxes are left unticked, um, that will mean that we wouldn't be able to offer you a place in the sixth form. So uh, you need to agree to those commitments uh, before you apply and think that through. And if you think that you can agree to them, tick them, um, and then um, you sign, and uh, you get your parents to sign and date it, um, and then you you email it to us at sixform at davenant.org. Now that is on the form as well so you've got that information. Please do ask somebody to read over your personal statement before you send it in to us. Um, just making sure that they're looking for any errors or any, any mistakes that are in there. Um, and also they might remember something amazing that you've done that you've completely forgotten to, to put in there and that um, you know will help you with your, your application. So once you've done that, we then also for this year include the checklist on our website um, which is just kind of a, an at a glance guide for you to go through and just almost tick off each of the points to check that you've done the different things that you that you need to before you send your application off um, so that you know that you've covered everything uh, so hopefully that will also be quite a helpful guide for you to guide you through that you're doing everything the right way to to send off your application so um Hopefully that's quite clear to you and when you look at the information on the website um, that will help you along. If you do have any queries or questions, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us at sixform at davenant.org. We'll always be uh, available to help you and to uh, answer any of your queries. Um, and I hope to see lots of your applications in January.